Bill Albright, private investigator for policeabuse.com. I am at the location of Neon Nights on Northeast 28th Street. I am in the vehicle owned and driven by Debbie Hunter, who is the witness to this accident. I am sitting in exactly the same spot that she was when she witnessed the accident or the incident involving Salem Zahn. And as you can see, Debbie Hunter was directly across from the club and had a full un unobstructed view. There is uh, Salem right there standing where she was at the time of the assault. Again, I am in the exact position that Debbie Hunter was when she witnessed the accident, uh, witnessed the assault, I'm sorry, on the night of the night of February 18th, 2009. It was 2 a.m. Can you describe the traffic to me? Was there any, uh, too, too much traffic that night? No, and it was also, at the time I saw this, it was also about 2.35, 2.40 in the morning. Debbie Hunter witnessed this at about 2.35, 2.40 a.m. in the morning. The club was pretty much cleared out, was it not? Yes. There were no cars in the lot except for the two police cars. There were no cars obstructing her view except for the two police cars. And again, this is exactly where Debbie Hunter was when she witnessed the assault on Salem. And I will go into the sign. There we are at Neon Nights. That is a picture of Salem, the victim in this situation. Uh, please note her small stature in comparison to the club door. This is the location of uh, where Debbie Hunter had witnessed the incident. And the black uh, car there is in the approximate location of where the police car was. Uh, you can see Debbie, the taller lady, and Salem, the shorter lady. Uh, this is approximately how and where the incident occurred with the same lighting as the night of the incident. As you can see, Debbie would have had a clear, unobstructed view of the situation.